Let us continue playing Halcyon 6. When we last left off, we have a ton of notifications, which I'm going to clear now. We also have a bunch of new things on the build, including our third tier 3 ship. Once that is done, I believe we will try and take on the Alpha Spire. But in the meantime, we are sending off this fleet to hopefully go and explore a few other areas and then defend Pharaoh once it gets done. We are low on crew, so we're hoping to get a few more by hopefully installing another thing here. Colony below us has been destroyed. We should... One moment. Commander, it seems we're picking up a signal from the surface, patching it through. No, I wear a mask of signal! These things are relentless! There may be other survivors on the surface, but we risk any officer we send down there. Okay, I think we're going to be down to the surface. Oh, it's only a juvenile. That's not too bad, actually. I feel we can take this. Deploy the officers. Okay. So, this thing is weak to shock effects. Not sure we have any, but that's fine. We'll stick with the tear gas to start with. At least disable him. Do we have any shock? We do. Electrocute free. And in fact, he's eliminated before we get too much further with that. Battle 1. We'll pick up a few extra rewards. I should evacuate 56 survivors from the surface. Can't touch this. Okay, so Aegon can't be touched. Can we rebuild this? Not without going back and then doing that in stages. Well, we'll head there. Pick up some extra crew. Install a satellite drone. And then I think once that's done, we're going to go and then save Ferra. We have... Oh, no, they've actually deployed. They've deployed. Okay. What are they sending here? They're sending for a level 4 ship at us now. And they're not the only ones. Okay, well, suddenly, escalation. Um... Well, we're low on dark matter, but that's not a real problem for us, I guess. Actually, I'm going to research that anyway. So we're, gonna, we're now going to get the top level power facilities up, and then we're going to probably build one as soon as we get a chance. But for now, we have tons of stuff coming in. So once that's built, we'll look towards where we're defending, but that fleet's probably going to have to do some work. Meanwhile... Okay, show location. So, yeah, we're going to have to try and deal with that. We will have one extra thing on them. How's the event queue looking? Dark matter creation, dark matter creation. But I think this is definitely taking some priority here. So, we'll cancel that task for Mera. We will cancel that task for Debbie, even though she's not... We don't have the top more ship here, do we? And we will cancel the recruit crew job for you at the moment. Okay. Aiken, of course, is deploying a satellite out there. You're sent station at Mekla. I guess you can keep going with that. In the meantime, I have to deploy a fleet here. So, we do have a tier 3 paladin for Debbie. We have a tier 2 tactical ship. Which we'll have Anion in, and then we hopefully have a tier three si tier two science ship for well, currently Chiral in it, but we will put Marishan in since we've redeployed him, and hope that this is going to be good enough. But yeah, we're going to have some mass problems here, prone to ramming attacks, and both of them are very good at dealing with tactical ships. And this tactical ship does not have a lot of defences. Still, we need to deal with this. Repair all. We take as few chances as possible. So I think this is going to be illuminate this as quickly as possible. And then try to last against this ship. So we're going to put this one onto a massive regeneration cycle here. The weakness is still hull breach effect, so we need to keep the portal cannon portal cannon and I think virus uploading is fine we can do some sensor 
That's the thing they're strongest against, though. Maybe we just go full on defense with a science ship here. Just absolute duty. Just keep them back. Hit the portal cannon when required. See what we can do. Alright, after that then. How are they to engine loss? They don't have any particular problems with engine loss, so that's something we can do. We can slow them down. Exploit vulnerable, inflicts engines down. We don't want to exploit the sensors down because we can't really do that. We can exploit vulnerable, however, and sabotage might not be a bad idea. That inflicts engines down as well, so this is going to be entirely a knock their engines down, make them slower, disable them where possible. We have stasis lock, of course, so additional advantage from that. Then the usual mix of deconstruction, repair drone, flat barrage if we can knock their engines out, and eruptions doesn't looks like it's doing a lot of damage. Disable countermeasures, we'll get vulnerability up as well. Alright, engage. So, first things first, we're gonna stasis lock the crusher. Not effective. That's a pain. Alright. Crippling shot. Harpoon. Regurgitate, evade, and evade. Alright, good start, good start. We need to deal with this quickly, so I'm thinking about... Even though I can pull breach, I think we're going to put a protective field up. We need to defend against the crusher. Okay, so this will exploit, possibly inflicting a disabling effect. So we're going to go suicide run. Exploited and no effect on the vulnerability side of things. Good. Alright, flat cannons, since we have not their engines out. And that looks like we're going to deal with the first one at least. Alright, so we've now just got this to deal with. Slow it down. Let's then go for... We're good at sensors offline, I just don't imagine we're going to get a chance to do it. So, we'll have a go. Not effective, as we kind of expected. Flat Barrage. Exploit 800. Alright, exploit effects are the way to go. We'll try a backstab maneuver, see if we can disable him, slow him down. Not effective. Bowling ball. Alright, bring up some adaptive armor. Okay, if we can make him vulnerable, that'd be a good way to go about this, so... Countermeasures. He's vulnerable. Alright. So, choices. Bullseye. Then we'll go portal gun. Down about half health, and then we can salvage Harpoon, giving him both those other two effects again. I kind of want to hit him with engines down, see if we can slow him. We can. Can we stasis lock him? Not effective. And that's a lot of damage coming in. Alright. Bullseye. Get some exploitation going on there. Portal, and hopefully last exploitation... Barrage. 56. 56 points away from glory. Alright. Cloak. I want to get some healing down here. We've got plenty of moves before it happens, so... But we also have to be slightly aware that there's another fleet coming in. Repair drone. Two, two more of these to go, so we can cauterize the paladin. Crippling shot. Okay, good, good rewards, good rewards. Okay, so we gained a couple of bonus effects from that, and also I think we've now got enough that we can build that last power facility. So, five days and six, this gives us up to 200 power. That means we can possibly start upgrading the current reactors we've got. So that's a good way that's going. We are going to have to deal with a few things though. 
Not least of all the fact that all of our planets are now under attack. Petty Officer Sulu has now been promoted. Okay. Let's wait and see what you're doing. Send us a hail. Based on the wreckage floating nearby, it seems you did us a favour. Destroying the fleet of our rebel nemesis, Vazla Pisakade. We apologise to your false take part in our internal conflict. We're highly impressed with your adroitness. It was nothing. Formally thank you for your actions. Okay, we weren't attacked. I'm surprised. Alright. So, we're going to send a new fleet. It's going to be the same fleet we kind of built last time. We are going to repair it. And we're going to send that out. I think based on the fact there's now spawning level 4 ships, we are going to have to deal with that as soon as we can. But for now... But for now, we have this lot to do. So, Stasis Lock, the weakest ship. And let's go for a backstab maneuver, see if we can disable a second ship. Alright, first attack. Not a lot of damage. Harpoon! Next, let's... Give sensors. And suicide run. Double exploitation here. Double exploitation equals job. Suicide run's a good effect. Alright, so now that that's been done, let's go for some more vulnerability effects. I don't think we need to do anything too difficult. I should really have done stuff to help that out, but we now have we now have a triple shot, so we're going to go do that. Let's wait for about 400. They heal, they miss. Good shimmy, good shimmy. Hull reach. Let's go for. Broadside salvo. Which they evade, so we're gonna now put the engine effects on. They've made ourselves vulnerable with that as well. That wasn't brilliant. I haven't made them panic though. Uh, do we have anything that exploits panic? I don't think we Oh we do, death from above. Perfect. Alright. Strafing run. Missed the engines down. Actually, this because of the area effect we're in. Get some regeneration going. And Harpoon. Which missed. Stasis. Not effective this time. Uh, but might as well just go for standard attacks then, I think. So we'll blast. Repair yourself, and since your senses are down, I wish I had one of my other abilities up. Portal, and deconstruct. There we go, this will now work. Uh, did, did, did. Crippling shot. Hull breach. And once again, the battle is won and the day is saved. For now. Okay, morale increased. We need the facility. Nothing I can really want, grab or want from that. So next we have to go. So let's send the ship to Farah at this point. Um. Yep. Redirect the fleet up there. Carol is continuing to make Dar matter. We, however, are going to continue to kick some of these ships out of our areas. Alright. Don't need that necessarily. I think we want, though, 
Actually, that's probably fine. Flat deconstruct. I haven't really changed this too much. This is pretty much optimal for what I should want our ship to be doing. We, however, lost the focus beam, which I think was a problem there. So we've got too much stuff that hits the engines. So we can exploit sensors, we can inflict weapon disruption. Don't need to be quite so defensive now. Exploit weapon disruption and change the ablative for the system overload, which does inflict that. Uh, weapon disruption. <laughs> okay. I should check those out before I actually go into these. Still, the Impaler is the tier 3 ship. We are going to, however, other than the initial stasis lock, ignore it. Till we're done with the other two. Oh, it didn't work anyway. Alright. Not the engines out of this one. Flat brush. Ow. Some repairs, please. Thank you. Um, backstab maneuver. You are, in fact, drawing fire. Um... <laughs> Well, I guess this is just going to kill it, so... Nope, it wasn't. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Alright, um... What do we want, then? Not effective. Let's go for a Missile Swarm. Critical ships right now. Well, this has not gone particularly well, I have to be honest. Uh, well, these mines would not actually do a lot here. All right, we're gonna need, we need to get rid of this one. Deconstruction. So he should die in his own time at the moment. We have multiple repairs needed. Cloak. Cauterize. Harpoon. Absolutely have to start doing some damage now. And we are out of heals. Okay. Vulnerability exploit. You are in critical condition and... We have lost the ACSS Wibbly stuff. Wow. Um, yeah. This is going to be a problem. Okay, well, I know they're about to die, so I should probably start trying to focus on disruption up top. Pair drone on yourself. Just enough healing to stay alive. This is the problem. I assume they're dead. I should be finishing people off. Because currently, that's what's happening to us. Alright. Missile. Evaded. Alright, come on. We need this. Alright, one out. Hapu. Alright, he's got enraged. And that we can live with. So, we can inflict a disable potentially here. Exploit did not affect either of them, really. reinforce the hull, I think. So his damage has gone massively skyward. We already have him deconstructed. Try this.
Actually, we've got plenty of turns for this now. There we go. All right, that's done. We have, however, lost the ship in exchange. Officer Marajin was tragically killed in the line of duty. Colony is safe once more. We'll transfer the materials. And I think, therefore, they have to return home. A small herd of Burgoff seem to be infesting some of the larger piping around the crew quarters. Uh, what about a dark matter bait trap? Well, morale improves, which we kind of needed. And yeah, jeez, we lost a crew member. Well, Debbie's promotion means we can then go for the unstable combustibles. And means we can actually even move to this, so increase damage. We place officer for 25. That's something we definitely need to do. Although, who is going to replace Marijin? Who could replace Marijin? I'm not sure it could be done. Alright, well that's heading over to there. It's only a tier 3 and 1. I think we got... I don't know why I did that. We could do that, but I feel what we actually want to do is just stay there because we know that they're going to need to be there in a moment. Transfer the crew to the fleet. Get them home. Retrieve some materials and... I guess... Get another ship on the build if we can. We have... 101 crew. So we can build another science vessel. We can also build another tactical vessel, but we only have two level 7s. So the only ones we can use now are these two, and our Condra ship we're building isn't actually good enough. So I think we're instead going to go recruit some additional crew. Actually, maybe I'll cancel that. I don't think you necessarily need to do that. get you to do that because you have a higher tactical score and then we will have you on materials free I guess meanwhile we see you okay so senses offline is not an effect that's going to happen here However, we can make them vulnerable, we can exploit the engines being down, and we can inflict hull breach. Which I feel is what we want to be doing. Quite vulnerable. Strafing run is the better one here, I think, so we'll go with that. Alright. So this we kind of have to be cautious of, because we don't have a lot of repairs. However, the first thing we're going to do is just do the meditation boost, give us that static bonus. So aim up. Aim up and everything else kind of looking good. Alright, deal with the shortest, the quickest one first. Enrage. Exploit, leaving 20, 50 hit points left. Couple of chaos beams. Bridge shell, one down. Next, we're going to Harpoon the Basher. Critical and dodge. Um, prepare yourself. I badly need to kill this before it happens, so... Missile Swarm should do it. If nothing else, we've also just about got this ready here. Enrage should wear off now. Alright, inflict. Engines down. Flat barrage. It's only one ship, so hopefully now, hopefully, 
Strafing run. We can just get flat barrage to death. Whew. Okay. I had a couple of risky combats, but I'm surprised we've gotten this far into the game with only losing one officer. Colony is safe once more. We have a thing in Mech Club, but that's where we actually were, so that's not too bad. Let's return home. All it needs is a science officer. Science officer, we are pretty lacking. Alright. Well. Could have gone better. Could have gone worse. What are you doing? Oh, good darn it. Alright, the machines are on us now. Officer Academy has completed its task. We have new candidates for promotion to officerhood. So... We're going to hire you. I don't know who you're actually going to be in regards to this. You are level 4. Thankfully, we did put that upgrade in. So at least you start like that. So let's go. Well, this training level 2. And let's have a look. So... Go with that. Improved bioweapons. Noxious fuels. And that will take us up to there. So we at least have another level 4 scientist. It's not ideal. And I think we'll have you on there for the moment until we can get you leveled up. More XP from combat might be what we, the order of the day, in all honesty. Well. With things happening... Not all good. We have an incoming hypercast from the collective. Hi, Terran friends. We hope you're holding on okay in that ungainly station of yours. Nice to end this hypercast to ask a favor, nothing too pressing. It'd be really great if you can help us out on this. Turns out an aggressive identity matrix embedded from a few centuries back has managed to hull itself up in a, to a handful of my bio vessels. Which normally wouldn't be a problem, but a re-optimization of my bio-vessel placements sort of led to them coalescing on the same few ships as one of my fleets. Long story short, I petitioned off one of my fleets and is now super hostile to humans. So just giving you a heads up, if you can handle it, that would be great. I would, but I'd rather not risk the matrix spreading any further. Because, you know, I like getting along with my neighbors, especially my human ones. Anyway, let me know one way or another. I think we will accept the mission, actually. Thanks, that'd be really sweet of you. So where is this mission? There it is. Free rogue level three vessels. Well, at least we have not a lot of crew right now, but we don't really have officers capable of doing this. We are getting close, however, to Little Debbie hitting level 10. And if she hits level 10, then we can go and do this upgrade, can't we? Hmm. Thoughts and theories. Thoughts and theories. Still, I think for the moment we're going to call that a video, and next time we'll do that mission that we've just agreed to within 49 days. So, until then, folks.